Once Upon a Time is a story of Little Rosie Riding Hood. This is Rosie Anderson. She is the Pink Star Angel. She's dressed up as a Little Red Riding Hood. Wow, what a beautiful day. I can't wait. I'm going to my grandma's house. Here, Little Rosie Riding Hood, I made this very special soup for your grandma, who is feeling very sick. Go to her house and give it to her while it's still hot. Okay, miss. I will. And also, stay on the trail at all times. It's dangerous to leave the trail. Okay. Little Rosie Riding Hood was walking around the forest, and they have two paths. Now where is the grandma's house? Wow. Flowers. I'm going to pick it up. Little Rosie Riding Hood picked up the flowers. Suddenly, a big bad wolf approached her. No, please don't kill me. I'm scared. Oh, so are you that girl known as Little Rosie Riding Hood? Yes, it's me. Are you trying to kill me? The wolf picked up Rosie's basket and took it back to Rosie. Here you go. Thank you. Where are you going, little girl? I'm going to my grandma's house. Ah, uh, and what are you going to the house about? Well, I need to give her this soup. I see. At that moment, he heard the shooting of an approaching hunter's rifle. And he ran away as fast as he could. Little Rosie Riding Hood looked around for a moment and started crying, realizing <laughs> that she was lost. Where am I? Huh? What is that herd crying? Hearing her crying, the hunter approached and came next to her. What are you doing alone here, little girl? It's very dangerous around here. I'm looking for the big bad wolf whom I've been hunting for a very long time. Little Rosie Riding Hood was very ashamed because she had not listened to her mother and left the road in the forest. Then she talked to the hunter. Um, well, I was bringing soup to my sick grandma living at the end of the forest and I got lost. Let me bring you to your grandma's house then. They started to walking together, and right then, the wolf took a shortcut and quickly made it to Grandpa's house. Who is it? That would be me, the big bad wolf. Okay, come in. Oh, so you must be little Rosie Riding Hood's grandmother, right? Yes, what do you want from me? I'm going to eat you alive. No. When a while later, Little Rosie Riding Hood and the hunter arrived at the grandma's house. Go, little girl. Next to your grandma as soon as possible. The hunter went back on his way. Who is it? It's me, Little Rosie Riding Hood. Oh, it's my darling. Come in. Huh? Is something strange? Ah. Uh. Hello there, little rosy riding hood. Hi, Grandma. Here is the soup for you to eat. Thank you, darling, for all your trouble getting here to bring me food. Come next to me so I can hug you. Come closer. Little rosy riding hood left the basket on the floor, but she did not get too close to bed because the grandma looked different. Why do you look different? So that I can hug you better. Why are your ears so big? So that I can hear you better. But why are your eyes so huge? So that I can see you better. Why are your teeth so sharp, Grandma? So that I can eat you better. The wolf jumped out of the bed and charged at Little Rosie Riding Hood. At the moment, Little Rosie Riding Hood realized that it wasn't her grandma lying in the bed, but instead, the big bad wolf she had run 
hint you along the way. Oh my gosh, I knew it. The hunter heard little Rosie Riding Hood scream huh? and ran straight to the house, stormed into the open door, and caught the wolf immediately. I finally got you, Big Bad Wolf. Now you're in my hands. The hunter cut the wolf's belly and rescued the grandma. Thank you for saving us, Hunter. You're welcome, but promise little girl that you will never forget what your mother asks for you. With great appetite, Grandma eats the soup Little Rosie Riding Hood had brought to her and she feels much better. Little Rosie Riding Hood promises her grandma that she will never ever fall into the wolves of a big bad wolf again. And they lived happily ever after.